Welcome to Storytime, everybody. We're so happy that you've come to join us today. Um, so today, you know, summer is almost over. Today is September 1st, can you believe it? So we figured we'd have like a last gasp of summer and we're gonna talk about animals at night and especially some of our favorite animals that we see or creatures that we see in the summertime. But before we get to that, we need to say hello. Should we do our bread and butter song? Everybody ready? All right, hands in your lap and clap and laugh and clap. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as Really well done. All right, you guys ready? We just did it very quietly. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can, right? Are you ready on the count of three? I wanna hear you. One, two, three, hello! Excellent job. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Let's go down really low. Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three, hello. Nice. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three, hello. Marmalade and jam, let's say hello as slowly as we can. You guys know I like to take a big deep breath for this one. After I count it down, should we do it together? One, two, three. <gasps> hello. All right, we just did it very, very slowly. I'm not gonna catch anybody sleeping this morning, am I? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quickly as we can. Ready on the count of three, one, two, three, hello. Good job. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as grouchy and grumpy as we can. I took my dog for a walk this morning. I didn't know it was gonna rain. We got very, very wet out there. And another thing, it's September. That means summer is just about over. Anybody mad about that? All right, well, let's let it out right here, right now, as grumpy as we can. On the count of three, one, two, three. Oh, yeah, I know. Sometimes you're just not feeling great, but it's okay. You shake it off because it's all good. You guys ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as nicely okay. as we can. Big smile and a wave on the count of three. One, two, three. Hello. Hi, everybody. All right, so Miss Jessica's gonna get us started off with something that we see at the beginning of summer. For me, it's one of the true signs that it really is summer. I agree, Miss Leslie. One of my favorite parts about summer is when it starts to get dark at night. What do you see flying around that just brightens the whole night up? <gasps> Could it be fireflies, you say? We have 10 flashing fireflies by Philemon Sturges. And thank you so much to North-South Books, because, oh, I love this little treasure. <gasps> what do we see in the summer night? Ten flashing fireflies burning bright. <gasps> Can you guys catch one? Catch one twinkling there like a star. <gasps> Where should we put it? <gasps> oh, one flashing firefly <gasps> in our jar. Should we take the one we just caught and put it in our jar? There we go, now we have one. What do we see in the summer night? Nine flashing fireflies burning bright. Capture another one, grab it. Now there are, wow, how many 
do you see in that jar? Two. Should we put the one we just caught in our jar? There we go. Now we have two as well. What do we see in the summer night? Eight twinkling fireflies blinking bright. Let's catch another one. Oh, got it. Now there are, how many do we have? Oh, wow, three twinkling fireflies in our jar. Let's put the third one. Our jar is getting pretty full. What do we see in the summer night? Seven bright fireflies. What a sight. Catch the one by the bush. Grab it. Now there are four flickering fireflies in our jar. You guys want to help me put it in? Oh, there we go. What do we see in the summer night? Six sparkling fireflies blinking bright. Catch the one that's flying high. Go up high, high, high and grab it. Now there are five fiery fireflies in our jar. Who is that looking at the fireflies? Is that the raccoon? Let's put our fifth one. There we go, we have five. What do we see in the summer night? Five fiery fly fireflies flashing bright. Get the way one way, way up there. Now there are six sparkling fireflies in our jar. Let's add it in. Woo! Is there any space left in that jar? Not much space left. What do we see in the summer night? Four flickering fireflies, flashing light. You've caught another one. And now there are seven bright fireflies in our jar. You ready? Let's add our seventh one. What do we see in the story night? Three twinkling fireflies glowing light. It's not as bright anymore, right? There's only three left. Ready? Let's catch another one. And now there are eight twinkling fireflies in our jar. Let's add our eighth one. Oh, it's getting really full. What do we see in the dark blue night? How many are left? You only have one, two flashing fireflies, golden light, not so bright. Ready, let's catch another one. And now there are nine flashing fireflies in our jar. Do you guys think we have enough space left to put the ninth one in? Oh, well, not much room left. What do we see in this dark, dark night? There's only one flashing fireflies, lonely light. I'm glad we're going to catch it. You got it? For now, there are 10 flashing fireflies in our jar. Ready? Let's add that 10th one in. Oh, wow, that jar is crowded, but you see how bright it is? Let's go to bed by the jar's bright light. Pull up the covers and say good night. Watch them all carefully. Look, there they are. See our jar? See how bright they are? Oh no, blinking so slowly in our jar. They're not as bright anymore, right? What happened? Open the jar, unscrew the cover and open it up. It's much more fun 
watching them fly away one by one fly out the window and flash goodbye fly away fly away fly fly see how many are flying already away there's ten nine eight seven six five four three two one oh dash away flash away now there are none since we let them all go so they could be bright again <gasps> look a jar is empty you see oh that's my favorite part of summer seeing those fireflies miss leslie hmm how does it feel to be just one little firefly yeah, see, your fireflies had each other. They looked like they were having a great time. But this is the story of the lonely firefly, the very lonely firefly, not just lonely, but very lonely, by Eric Carle. It's written by, published by Philomel Books. We love our Eric Carle books. Oh, look at those amazing illustrations. Okay, let's see if this firefly, let's first of all find out why it's so lonely and then see what can be done about that. Okay. As the sun set, a little firefly was born. It stretched its wings and flew off into the darkening sky. It was a lonely firefly and it flashed its light searching for other fireflies. You guys see any other fireflies? Nope, just the one. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was, look right there, a light bulb lighting up the night. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. It was a candle flickering in the night. The firefly saw another light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. What is it? Can you see it? It was a flashlight shining in the night. I wonder where all these people are going. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. What was it? It was a lantern glowing in the night. The firefly saw several lights and flew toward them, but they were not other fireflies. There was a dog and a cat meow, and an owl, their eyes reflecting the light. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. It was a car's headlights flooding the night. Where do you think they're going? Oh my goodness, what is that? Wow, the firefly saw many lights and flew toward them, but they were not other fireflies. What are they? You guys know what those are, right? That's right, they were fireworks sparkling and glittering and shimmering in the night. When all was quiet, the firefly flew through the night, flashing its light, looking and searching again. Then the very lonely firefly saw what he had been looking for. It was a group of other fireflies. Look at them, a group of fireflies flashing their lights. You see them all flashing? Wow. Now, the firefly wasn't lonely anymore. <laughs> all right, well, let's switch. We've, we've learned a little something about fireflies, but let's learn about some other animals that are up at night. What do you say, Miss Jeff? I think that's a good idea. I love to see those flashing fireflies, but 
what else do we see at night? If we stay up really late, who else stays up late and is wise and may say, ooh, ooh. Oh, you guessed it. We have Owl Babies here by Martin Waddell. Thank you, Candlewick Press, for this one. Once there were three baby owls, Sarah and Percy and Bill. They lived in a hole in the trunk of a tree with their owl mother. The hole had twigs and leaves and owl feathers in it. It was their house. You see Mama Owl there? One night, they woke up and their owl mother was gone. Does anybody see her? No, I don't see her either. Where's mommy? asked Sarah. Oh my goodness, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. Do you think she'll come back? The baby owls thought all owls think a lot. I think she's gone hunting, said Sarah, to get us our food, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. But their owl mother didn't come. The baby owls came out of their house and they sat on the tree and waited. Do you see any sign of mother owl yet? I don't see her. A big branch for Sarah, a small branch for Percy, and an old piece of ivy for Bill. She'll be back, said Sarah. Back soon, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. It was dark in the wood and they had to be brave for things moved all around them. She'll bring us mice and things that are nice, said Sarah. I suppose so, said Percy. What do you think Bill said? I want my mommy, Bill said. They sat and thought. All owls think a lot. I think we should all sit on my branch, said Sarah. And they did. All three together. That's a really good idea. Suppose she got lost, said Sarah, or a fox got her, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. And the baby owls closed their owl eyes and wished their owl mother would come. Do you see any sign of her yet? <gasps> And she came, wow, beautiful, soft and silent. She swooped through the trees to Sarah and Percy and Bill. Mommy, they cried and they flapped and they danced and they bounced up and down on their branch. Oh, they look so happy to see her. What's all this fuss? Their owl mother asked. You knew I'd come back. The baby owl owls thought. All owls think a lot. I knew it, said Sarah. And I knew it, said Percy. I love my mommy, said Bill. Oh, so sweet. You know what? We have owls here too. How many owls do we have? Just one, right? One wise owl sitting in a tree. Ooh, into another owl. Come and sit with me. Oh, here flies in the owl. So now we have two wise owls sitting in a tree. Ooh, into one more. Come, let's be three. And here comes another owl flying in. Oh, so beautiful. Now we have one, two, three wise owls sitting in a tree. Who did to a fourth one? Come quietly. Come, come. 
see a fourth one. <gasps> four, one, two, three, four wise owls sitting in a tree. Who did to a fifth one? Come join our family. <gasps> Here it comes. Ooh, landing on the branch. We have one, two, three, four. Five wise owls sang hoo, hoo, hoo. And before you knew it, they all flew away. <laughs> Those owls, you can barely hear them flying at night. If you see one, let Miss Leslie or I know. Miss Leslie, hmm, who do you have there waiting for us? I have another story about an owl, and I will tell you that a few weeks ago I was in Vermont and we spotted a couple of owls and it really, they are majestic and it was just amazing, amazing to see. Very exciting. Okay, so this is called Who's There? It's by Mary Serfazzo and it's published by Random House. Okay, here we go. Quiet crept into the dark forest deep. Wrapped in the hush, everyone seemed asleep until who's there, said old owl, who said ee, ee, ee. I did, said Cricket. It's music to me. You guys hear crickets at night? Yeah. Oh, you guys know what those are. Who, said old owl, who was turned on the light. Fireflies glowed a bright show in the night. Oh, I'm not a big fan of these. Who said old owl, who tipped trash over there? I did, raccoon said. There's plenty to share. We have plenty of raccoons here in Port Washington and they have gotten into my garbage. <laughs> oh, phew, said old owl. I know skunks down below. Hi and goodbye, skunk. Now hurry. Please go. Who said old owl? Who's that on the prowl? Ow! Yowled coyote. I prowl with a howl. Who said old owl? Who swooped through the night? Sky bats heading home, but we can't stop. We're shy. Tired old moon is beginning to fade. Stillness drifts back through the deep forest glade. A lullaby hush finds its way to the tree where somebody's sleeping now. Who can it be? Owl had a busy night, very, very tired. All right, so let's see if you guys were paying attention about what kinds of animals come out in the night. Let's see. There's something in the nighttime that I can't really see. There's something in the nighttime. Who can it be? Ha, huh. who, who? Who, who can it be? That's right, it's an owl. Owls are nocturnal, they stay up at night. Very good, let's see what other creatures are up at night. There's something in the forest, something I can't really see. There's something in the nighttime, who can it be? Oh. This one's flapping, but I don't think it's a, ooh, I don't think it's a bird. They come out at night. Do you know what it could be? That's right. It's a bat. And you know, bats are really terrific because they eat mosquitoes. So bats are our friends. All right. Bye-bye, bat. Okay. There's something in the nighttime that I can't really see. There's something in the nighttime. Who can it be? Uh-oh. I hear somebody in my trash can making quite a mess. Do you know who it could be? <gasps> Come on. How could something so cute, it's 
such a mess. My friend, Mr. Raccoon. Mm -hmm. All right. There's something in the nighttime that I can't really see. There's something in the nighttime. Who can it be? Uh-oh. You got to smell something really, really stinky? Oh, my goodness. Who can it be? Ah! Oh! <laughs> Miss Jessica, oh, I know that you have a very special creature with you. I sure do, Leslie. You're not going to believe who just swooped in and landed right on my shoulder. Who is this? Say hello to the beautiful owl. Can you open your eyes wide like an owl? Owl's eyes open wide at night. Do you see them nice and wide and open? He looks to the left. He looks to the right. And he turns his head around and around. Wow, look at that. And then he makes the most curious sound. Do you guys remember what sound the owl will make? Oh, excellent. Okay, before we clap our hands and stomp our feet, I just want to announce that Daniela has finished 400 books towards 1,000 books before kindergarten. Awesome work, Daniela. Keep on reading. You can email us at child at pwpl.org. We'll send you a new booklet. And please feel free to come on in when we're open and share those booklets with us and we'll give you a new one, okay? So we're going to highlight all the children as we clap our hands and stomp our feet and we'll put it on YouTube. So if you don't want to be shown, now's the perfect time to turn your video off, okay? And get those hands ready to clap. Come on, Wiggle Worms, let's get ready to clap our hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Now we're going to stomp our feet. Stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet. Stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet, everybody stomp your feet. Let's say hi to all our friends. Wave hello, wave hello, everybody wave hello. Wave hello, wave hello, wave hello, wave hello, everybody wave hello. Hi everybody. Well, I know you don't like it, but now it's time for us to brush our teeth. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth, everybody brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth, everybody brush your teeth. Touch your nose, touch your nose, everybody touch your nose. Touch your nose, touch your nose, touch your sweet little nose. Everybody touch your nose. All right, it's time to clap those hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Woohoo! Excellent job. I saw a lot of people doing a great job brushing those teeth. Let's get ready to jump, jump. You guys are ready? Get ready. Jump, jump. Everybody jump, jump. Take your feet, jump, 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 jump. One, two, three. Shake, shake. Everybody shake, shake. Clap, 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 clap. 
fun today learning about our night animals. If you see any, let us know, okay? You ready Is to Jessica? open shut them? You ready? Let's can you get your hands ready to do open shut them. Ready? Open shut them. Open shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open shut them. Open shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, slowly, slowly, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. <laughs> open, shut them, open, shut them. Raise your hands up high. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Time to say goodbye. Bye friends, great to see you.